Hi guys, in last video, we learned how to deploy a contract from another contract and we get the address of that deploy contract, right? So let uh, quickly recap that. I'll compile this pressing on command S and now let's press on this icon here and select the contract, which is a uh, contract factory from uh, this file right here and click on this deploy uh, button down here let's scroll down here we can see this is the uh, function right so to deploy this uh, new contract just click on this uh, button and then we need to access this uh, new contract that has uh, just deployed uh, click on this uh, button right here we can see that this is the address of that deployed contract so in this tutorial what i want to show you is to access the existing uh, functions, which is the store function and the retrieve function from this uh, contract right here. So how do we do that? Now let's try to access that function. So to uh, access the uh, store function from my storage, right? So the store function here. So we will need to create a new function. This will be function and give this a name. It will be storage factory store so just give this a name as uh, as seen and then the parameter it would be uh, u in u into 56 and my storage uh, index because we want to access the index of this array right here right so we start from uh, index 0 as in here so this is it and then we need another one what is this this one is uh, also u into 56 and my storage number so where is this uh, referring to it referring to uh, this uh, parameter right here the number right so once we have this we use the public uh, keyword here and inside this uh, we want to get that contract so uh, we can write the my storage and give this a name uh, my storage equal to my storage and we want to get that particular address so this is uh, what we have to write which is address and inside this address we want to access the uh, first index right so we want to access the index of this uh, array so it's not only the first index but it can be others as well so say if you deploy multiple contracts then the uh, index will be uh, one two and so on so forth right so the address uh, here we want to use the my storage array right my storage array so uh, it will be what is this this will be the my storage index so let's just put it here okay and then we can start using this my storage so it will be my storage uh, not array my storage dot store so we want to access the function from this um, contract right here okay so it will be store and inside this store here we can give the my storage number right so this is actually coming from this one here and it referring to the number of this uh, store function okay so now let's try to press on the command s and you can see we have this uh, successful uh, compile and this is just one way of writing okay so if you want to have the uh, shorthand versions right you can do something like so this will be shorthand. Um, so you just copy this part here, right? Copy it down here. And instead of storing it into this my storage, we can simply use dot store my storage number. Okay, so like this. And this line of code here, it's equivalent to these two lines of code so now let's just quickly compile it again you can see we have the successful com uh, compile and 
Um, right here, as you can see, we uh, only have the store function, but we cannot see the number yet. Um, so let me just show you what I mean by that. Let's just uh, delete the existing contracts and try to uh, select this one here, right? So storage factory and click on the deploy. And then let's take a look the, at the deploy uh, contract. So we have the deploy my uh, function contract, right? So uh, click on this button, then a new contract is deployed, right? From this, uh, my storage. And the storage factory here, um, we can uh, basically provide the index as well as the uh, storage number. Um, but I want to show you is this one first. Uh, let's just try to hit on the zero, right? This is the address. So this address is actually used inside this function as well. So now let's try to give this um, uh, index. So we start from index zero and then the number, right? So the number here can just uh, simply give like 100 and then click on this here. It actually, the function, it is uh, used by, uh, it is calling this store function. But the thing is that we cannot see what uh, is inside this uh, variable here. So we have to create uh, another function to uh, call this uh, view function, which is called retrieve. So now let's try to create a new function called function storage factory, right? Storage factory and give this a name. This will be retrieve. Okay. And make sure that this is small letter. And then um, this will take uh, one parameter, right? So it will be uh, the my storage index. We want to get the index of that contract. Okay. So now we can start uh, using the uh, public view returns. We want to return the uint 256. Okay. So inside here, this will be. Uh, I'm using the shorthand version, so it will be uh, return, right? Exactly the same as this one, you can see. We have the public view returns, right? Same thing. And this is the return, right? So what are we returning? We want to return my storage, uh, actually the same as this one here. So let's just uh, try to copy this here, right? And then instead of dot store we want the dot retrieve so dot retrieve and yep that is uh, basically it right it doesn't take any parameter right retrieve and it's the same thing here so now let's try to uh, compile this again uh, successful and remove the uh, recent contract as well and select the storage factory click on the deploy and underneath here, let's try have a look. We want to deploy a new contract. Press on this button and then we can start using um, here. This will be index zero, right? And then the number, we can provide any number. Let's just say 100 and click on this function here. This will call the uh, store function from this uh, my storage uh, contract. And then to access or to see um, the uh, number here, right? Uh, calling the uh, retrieve function. We can uh, start um, from this uh, here. This will be index zero, right? Click on this button and you can see we have the result, which is accessing this um, right here. It returning the number that is stored in this uh, variable, my number, all right? So to show you another one, let's press on this again. This will deploy in another contract, right? So now click on that and instead of um, zero, let's try to have a look uh, inside this array. We simply use one, click on that. This is the address of the new contract, okay? So to see this, um, let's try to uh, add this from one, right? Start from uh, one this time and then uh, let's add uh, 200 this time for this uh, new contract, the second uh, contract click on this button and to access that that change this to one and click on that you can see this is the number uh, which is 200 if I 
press on one, then we can see this is um, the uh, previous one, which is uh, contract uh, number one, right? So you start from index zero, one, and so on and so forth. And it store uh, inside this my storage array that is also used here as well, right? So I hope you understand uh, how we can call uh, the functions from uh, another contract inside another contract inside this new contract right so this is how we do it yep that's pretty much it until then see you guys in the next video